establish a clear vision. I want to do a little test today. Did Jesus establish a clear vision? Let me find out. I'm going to pick on somebody in the choir. Rhonda, what's the purpose of the church? Why, why do we even exist as a church? How would you answer that? We exist as a church for fellowship and to uh, encourage each other to keep walking in the ways of the Lord. It's also that we can come together and pray as a unit, um, and it's also so that we can learn the Word of God. Okay. So Rhonda has said, and she's 2,000 years removed from Jesus, the CEO, that she thinks we as a church exist to show love to one another, and to fellowship, and to pray for one another. One purpose of the church. Let me ask over here. Mary? <laughs> what do you think the purpose of the church is? Why, do we even, why is First Baptist even in existence 2,000 years after Christ? What's our purpose? To encourage one another and to pray for one another and to also bring other people in so they can hear about the Word of God. Okay. Now, isn't that interesting? I randomly picked two people. You could tell by the shock on their face that was not planned. <laughs> and 2,000 years later, they perfectly articulated the mission. That's why Jesus was such a great leader. He was crystal clear. In fact, those of us who are preachers, we learned from our first day in seminary that Jesus gave us a great commandment and the great what? Commission. That's just what you heard. Rhonda talked about the great commandment. Mary talked about the great commission, right? What is the great commandment? This is what Rhonda talked about. Matthew 22 Verses 36 through 40 says, Jesus said, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. All of the law and prophets hang on these two commandments. And then what about the Great Commission? Before Jesus left, he said this, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. Matthew 28, 19 and 20. See, I believe a great commitment to the great commission and the great commandment will lead to a great church. Now, at First Baptist, we've had some pretty significant growth over the last few years. And can I tell you why? It's because as a church, we've been committed to the great commandment and the what? And the great commission. Listen, I read some statistics this week about the number of churches that are declining, especially mainline churches. That your evangelical churches are growing, but your mainline churches are declining. Listen, it's not rocket scientists to tell you why they're declining. It's because they've forgotten the what? The message, the great commandment and the great commission. And we've got sidetracked. <coughs> And so one of the reasons Jesus was a great CEO is because he established clear vision. 